Hello everybody, welcome. A warm welcome on a cold, a cold afternoon evening. It's actually about half past five. What I'm, in, what I'm doing is I'm just in the process of um, uh, handling these, uh, handling these tankards. So these are just at the leather hard stage and um, what I do is here where I put that bevel with my throwing stick just with a wet finger I just thumb around like that you see and that's that's it done okay I'm going to put him on the banding with here Where the where the where this sort of spiral comes there above there, I is where I put the handle. So just wet your finger, okay, and use your nail to just scratch, score and scratch there. You see, like that. Are we in the picture? Are we in the picture? Yeah. Just like that, you see. Now you don't add, don't add slurry, okay? Make the slurry, make the slip with the water by scratching. That's a really good tip, okay? That's all you do. Next, take your handle, all right? Now this is really important. So there, there, there you see a pulled handle. So the end of the handle here, what we're going to need to do is using my, using my knuckle of my thumb, I'm going to, I'm just going to go like this, you see. Now you see what I've done to that, how I've, you see the shape of that. So that's, it's given me extra clay there, you see to be able to make the join to the, to the tankard. Okay, so take that and just press it up there against that keyed, that keyed area, okay? All right, now with your index finger on the underside here, just begin to smooth that, that clay in. And on the top side here, with, with my thumb, you see what I'm going to do? Just go like this. That's like that. All right. Now, don't let this handle, don't let it droop. Okay. Always keep it supported. So now just dip it in the water. And pull it to refresh it, clean it, slightly soften it. Okay. And now take it by the, the tail and just put the mug back to the vertical. See how I'm supporting it by holding the tail. Now let it come down. So at this point you want to judge the space here for your fingers. Okay. Next thing is what I do is just finish it off top there, like that. Now, now the bottom here, incidentally you don't need to score the bottom, all right, because this, the bottom half of the pot is a little bit more damp than the top anyway. And uh, you'll find that you won't need to do that. So what we're going to do now is just sort of slightly dry your thumb and holding it like this just go across there like that and also like that and the tail here just flick them off just like that just check him sort of check that negative space that you see in here that it is a nice shape you see No, no, no. 
Cast your eye over the, the tankard at this stage, if there's any little scabs or maybe you scratched it with your fingernail or something, you might need to rectify that. Okay, put him back on the board. And I put him on the board here. And I use a, an old yogurt carton, okay, just to go inside. You notice it's slightly tapered, you see. So just to bring it back to being round, just in case you've um, squashed it a little bit, you know. Okay, let's do, let's, let's do another. This is fun, isn't it? So, thumb off. No trimming, folks. Just thumb off, you see. There's the spiral there, above, here. Take your finger, dip it in the water, and score it. Take a handle. Broaden and splay the end of the handle to give you that extra bit of clay. Okay, push it on up to the scored area. And then with your thumb and index finger, make the join. Keep it supported, okay? Don't let it fall. Now you can turn it like that, dip it in the water. And just lightly just pull it away from the pot like that. Okay, now holding it by the tail, just let that handle just come round. Um, handling like this just does take a bit of practice and the only way you're going to really learn how to do it and to be get, get proficient at it is by, by doing it. So you're going to need to make a lot of, a lot of mugs. Okay? So get going, get cracking, get making. All starts with the cylinder, doesn't it? Dee -dee -dee -dee. See, now if you do a good job of putting that bevel on the bottom there, you're going to make it really nice and easy for yourself now at this stage, you see? It makes that thumbing off just really a cinch, really easy. Okay. Got it. You have to sort of train your eye a little bit just to to know what is the right sort of size, both from a practical point of view, from what fits the hand nicely and what is comfortable, and also well, what also looks nice visually. You see. Okay, have a, have a quick cast your eye over it, you see, just before you put it down. Because when we put it down on that board, it's finished. All it needs is a, is a seal on the bottom. Let's 
That's all it needs. De -de -de. Well, I hope you're all busy out there practicing and everybody's busy this time of year, aren't they, with something. If it's not Thanksgiving, it's Christmas approaching, or it's bad weather to deal with, or... So... This is... This clay that I'm using here for these handles is actually... It's reconstituted clay that I reconstituted. It's been it's been well rotted, as it were. It's nice and nice and plastic, which is what you really want for handle clay. You want real nice plastic clay. See, when I'm doing this fishtail here on the bottom, you want nice clay for that. But you just want nice clay for the handle so it, it flows nicely. See? Yeah, so I add a little vinegar to my... my over here I've got, I've got some clay in the... Um, in a, a bowl there. I rot that down, you know, and I add, I, I add vinegar, but another thing that I add to the clay is, and uh, I add, oops, Mind the camera, Simon. I've got little pieces of um, chamois leather in here, you see. Pieces of chamois leather. So what I do with those... I ha I'll tell you why I came up with this idea. And, uh, and that is because what I want to do is, you see, Let's just have a look at this piece of clay to see if this is... Let me just cut that a minute. So I want to show you the clay, you see. Ah. No, I'm not seeing it in there so much. But... It's, it's, it's rotted. You've seen the signs where it says, well rotted manure. <laughs> well, this is well rotted clay. Hang on a minute. Bear with me. Yeah, you can see it. Now look, you see that there? You see that, these dark streaks in the clay? That, that tells me that the clay is rotting nicely. And um, that's gonna be good handle clay. So to do, to do it, to help it to rot, to help it to rot, I put in vinegar and I also put in pieces of leather. <laughs> Little pieces of leather like this, you just put them in there in the mix. It's a bit of a nuisance because the leather, sometimes when I'm wedging up clay and preparing it, I come across a leather and I take it out. But you know what, where, where the leather is in the clay, where it is, um, Yeah, here, here's an old piece of leather that came out of a clay mix, you see. But where the clay is in close proximity to the leather, the leather starts to rot. 
and the leather imparts this blackness into the clay. Try it yourself. Give me some feedback, see if... Anyway, I'm, basically all I'm trying to say is I'm trying to encourage the clay to rot. And this is one of the things I do by adding the vinegar and the pieces of leather. The adding of the leather is a fairly recent addition, I have to say. But it's one of those things I kind of discovered by accident that um, I noticed, you know, as you do by accident, you maybe left the leather in the clay and it found its way into the recycle. But I noticed that when the leather, I pulled it out, I thought, oh, look at this leather I found. But wow, look at it, isn't it all black and slimy? And then I thought, hey, wait a minute. Actually, that blackness and sliminess is something that is actually good. Because when the clay begins to rot, it begins to break down, you see. And it adds, it adds plasticity to the clay. So this clay that these handles are made out of is well rotted. I just thought I'd pass that on to you. <laughs> yeah, maybe there is something to that though. Maybe that it, 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 does, it does help the clay to to break down, you know, in a, in a bowl of clay like that, I might have four or five pieces of leather, you see. Anyway, give it a try. Okay, folks, so I got a few, well, I've done this board. I've got another board over there to do a few more handles here to put on. But we won't prolong the agony. <laughs> Okay, folks, so that's putting on handles on tankards. I know we've done, I know we've done this many times, but there's no harm in revisiting it because, you know, every time you may see something different. If you have eyes to see, then you may see something different. You might learn something new. So I share it with you anyway, uh, even if I am repeating myself. So yeah, thanks for joining us. Please visit my website, simonleachpottery.com. And um, yeah, we're gonna have a bunch of tankards. Uh, I've got a board over there full of tankards, another board over there on the wheel full of tankards there, this board here. So there will be a load of tankards, and there's some, oh, I'm, I'm going to have actually a new trim tool, a new trim tool. Um, I don't know if some of you remember from some years back, I used to offer like a strap, a strap. It was one like this, one like this. This is a bit of an old one with, you know, um, this kind of trim tool which is great for trimming, imagine that's a pot, for trimming the outside of, of larger surface area forms. Um, so I'm going to be offering one of those and that's going to be coming up on the website very, very soon. Um, I'm going to go down tomorrow actually and pick up a load more of my regular, my regular, um, my regular trim tool, which I have now, I've done away with that, the, the duct tape here, and I've got a proper rubberized handle is coming on this next ba batch of trim tools. Um, and also this new, this new tool like this. Anyway, go to my website and you'll see those things there. Hey, thanks for tuning in, folks, and all the best to you. Keep practicing, please. 
Um, that is the secret. Okay? Keep practicing. Hey, I'll see you. Bye-bye.